Hello and welcome to my channel. Today let's make a Mangalorean side dish, Kadle Manoli. Kadle is nothing but chickpeas and Manoli is tindora or ivy curd. So let's begin with the recipe. Soak black or white chickpeas overnight. Now use 1.5 cups of chickpeas, transfer it to a cooker and add 2 cups of water. Pressure cook this for 4 whistles. Once they are completely cooked, set them aside. This vegetable is also called as Manoli, Tindora, Tundekai or Ivy Curd. I have used the local variety here. Now chop the vegetable and transfer it to a cooking vessel. Add the stock from the cooked chickpeas, cover and let it cook. For the masala preparation, dry roast 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds, 1 teaspoon of cumin or jeera seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 fourth teaspoon of methi or fenugreek seeds, 8 dry red badge chilies, Seven to eight black peppercorns, one petal of a star anise, five big garlic cloves with skin. Dry roast these spices on a low flame. When the spices are almost roasted, add a few curry leaves to it. Mix well, switch off the flame and transfer the spices to a blender jar. Add 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now grind this into a coarse powder. Now add 1 cup of freshly grated coconut and grind it again till it just mixes with the spices. To the 90% cooked ivy curd, add the cooked chickpeas. Add little water if required. Add 2 teaspoons of jaggery to it. Salt to taste. Mix well and let it cook completely. In another pan, add 2 to 3 tablespoons of coconut oil, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, half teaspoon of urad dal, 3 crushed garlic cloves, 1 big sprig of curry leaves. A pinch of asafoetida or hing. To this, add two medium sized onions. Sort it till they just turn soft and not brown. Now add the ground masala powder to it. Mix well and cook this for two to three minutes. Add some salt to the masala and mix well. Now add the roasted masala to the fully cooked vegetables. Give a good mix. Keep this covered and cook for 3 to 4 minutes on a low flame. Kadle Manoli Sukha is now ready to serve. You can serve it with steamed or boiled rice. Thanks for watching.